Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about this super easy FPV mod that I did to the Eosheen H8 Mini. And as you can tell here, it's using the all-in-one FX798 uh, video transmitter camera combo that is very popular with the Tiny Whoop, which you can now see here in the background. And comparing this to the Tiny Whoop, it's very similar in size and weight. Um, let me first go over what I did to make this. It's really, really easy. So all you gotta do is, as you can see, I cut the plastic off here from the top and uh, it's basically this piece right here that used to be about in this area and this plastic is very easy to, you just use like a box cutter, I just used a, a box cutter knife and just sliced it. Um, just takes a few slices and then it'll just, it'll just peel right off. I think I may have cut a little bit too much off in the front here. I could probably have left a little more of the arm uh, in place, but I wanted to make sure that the uh, antenna was going to be going straight up. Um, probably, probably a little bit too aggressive there. And uh, normally this antenna sits flat, and that reduces your range, so uh, you want to get the, this antenna up. Um, in order to cut this top, you have to remove it first. There's three screws on each arm, right here. you got to take those off, so there's 12 screws in total. And then uh, this whole top section will just come right off. And then I, I just slice the arms, and then the... Uh, top piece here to get this off and that's mainly mainly because I wanted to uh, have a flat area uh, Have a flat area here for the camera to sit on for the uh, double-sided foam tape now I already closed this up but uh, uh, The battery lead here goes to the back of the PCB and I soldered on a the connector here that actually came with the camera it's it's this one here it's a 1.25 millimeter pitch uh, uh, Pico JSD connector and so you just uh, this actually this cable actually comes with the uh, camera it's a uh, micro low C to uh, JSD adapter and uh, you can just I, I just happen to have a, a bunch of these uh, sitting around so I had extras and you just uh, use this cut that off and solder it to the back of the PCB and I'll show you a picture of that here on oh, my screen I didn't want to take it apart again but that's what the PCB looks like in the back and so all I did was I just peeled back a little bit of this uh, as you can see the insulation is even exposed here just added a little bit of solder and then just um, soldered on that that little lead there that Pico, Pico JST lead to the battery lead here And the camera itself comes with this long cable. So here's, a, here's another one with the circular polarized antenna on here. So the camera comes with this cable with the, uh, I don't know if this is the female or the male end, I forget. Um, but it comes with this and this connector here. And then so if you take the, the other connector that's soldered on to the PCB board, it just plugs in like that. And uh, that's all it is. I, I didn't even I didn't even cut the uh, wire. I just I just wrapped the wire here around the antenna, and then just plugged it in right there. And since there's a uh, built-in uh, power filtering on this uh, VTX camera combo, you don't need any other um, voltage regulators or pololus or anything like that. So it's super simple. Just solder that on, plug this in, pop on the camera with some double-sided foam tape, and uh, that is that is it. That's all you got to do. Now, as you can see, I have the, uh, on this 798T, I've got the linear polarized antenna here. It's really easy to convert uh, these, these new ones. And I have another video that, that shows these. Um, 
but I'll, let's go over that again real quick here for those of you that didn't see the other video uh, this little uh, antenna here is soldered on there's the ground and then the signal goes inside actually if you look at the back of the PCB here let's see the camera can focus come on focus the top top portion there is the ground and then that small circular section there that's the signal and so uh, all you need to do is just uh, desolder the, these these two points here from here and then you, and you can just uh, attach a linear polarized antenna instead and uh, that's what these look like here they they just come inside these uh, rubber, rubber ducky antennas the ones that uh, these are the ones that, are, that come with every video transmitter and no one uses but inside here is the the linear polarized antenna let's see if I can pop this off and I can show you just pull this apart and voila this is where this is where they come from so if you uh, want to do uh, if you want to do that mod to save some weight um, and uh, get this make this into a linear polarized antenna that's pretty easy to do so if you're wondering about where that how to do that that's how you do it now I, I did fly this already and I'll show some flight video here at the end of the video and I am using the original toy control that it comes with and this is probably the thing that makes this uh, more difficult to fly I, I did uh, do the mod where uh, you take it apart and uh, you drill a hole in this little plastic piece here to uh, pop the antenna out otherwise it's jammed in there I think it's like sideways and it should be up and down like that uh, this will this will give you more control range now what I am going to do is um, get the there's, there's actual a module that you can get off of RC groups there's a guy in RC groups that is selling a module that will let you control these um, toy to, toy quadcopters uh, and I'm going to be flying this with my Tyrannus and and additionally there's also um, some acro firmware for the uh, H8 mini on the internet somewhere I'll, I'll I'll put a link to that in the description. I, I'm not sure where it is right now, but I may be doing that upgrade in the future. I did fly this yesterday. It flew just fine. It, 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 other than the fact that it was a good 10 to 15 mile an hour wind going, it still flew okay. Just fighting the wind. Um, even with the toy controller, it was fairly manageable. And, then I'll, and you'll see that in the video. Now, weight wise, comparing this to the Tiny Whoop, I can show you here. Here's the tiny whoop without the battery. It comes in at 18 grams. And this is the H8 Mini. And comes in at 19 grams. So fairly comparable in weight. Um, you can still fly this indoors because it, I didn't remove the prop guards, although a lot of people are removing the prop guards. Probably could save a gram or two um, by just chopping them off here. The uh, I can tell you right now from flying this outside in the wind, uh, the tiny whip would not have been able to fly in those winds, but this one was, and you can just tell because it has um, uh, um, has more prop and um, is probably more efficient in terms of thrust. I believe the motors are both six millimeters on each of these, but this one definitely has a lot more power for outside flight. So stay tuned for a future video where I'll have uh, the information covering the Tyrannus module and I'll be flying this with my Tyrannus uh, that will be probably in maybe a week or a week and a half if you stay tuned to my channel subscribe you'll, you'll get a notification on that video um, if you have any questions on how to make this mod if I wasn't clear on anything let me know in the comments uh, this is a pretty good alternative for uh, something like the Tiny Whip if you're interested in sort of the similar indoor flight characteristics it, I think it flies just fine inside and, and with the prop guards you can bump into things and uh, not damage it or or objects inside the house um, the H8 mini is a lot less expensive than the, the tiny whoop I believe the H8 mini was $13 and if you get the blade and ductrix it's $50 without the controller um, plus you need to get the motor upgrade which is like another $30 and 
uh, the upgraded batteries, which are uh, I think six dollars each. Uh, this one is stock, stock, stock motor, and a fluid on a stock battery, which is the uh, this generic uh, 150 milliamp hour um, 1S battery. Nothing special. You can get like a pack of ten of these for like ten bucks or something. It's really, really dirt cheap. So this is definitely a cheaper alternative to the Tiny Whip if you're looking for some, some something similar to fly inside. Anyway guys, I hope you liked that video and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Okay guys, we're going to give this guy a little fly. It's pretty windy right now so I'm not sure how well this is going to go but give it a try. <laughs> go for the gate, go for the gate! No, yeah, they, I think the injectors would uh, fly in this wind. It would not, dude. No, no, no I was getting not. barely some tiny breezes outside in my brother's backyard, and I was just like, "What's going on with my controller?" It was so weird. Thank you.